as they go for the World Series. And what a ride it's been to get to this point. Kyle Tucker puts the Astros on the board. Castellanos saves the day. The Astros all over things right away. Lightning strikes to nothing, Phils. Makes the grab. Taz McCormick. Welcome to Houston, Texas. Welcome to the World Series. It's game one between the National League champion Philadelphia Phillies and the American League champion Houston Astros. I'm looking forward to that next one. I, I think we're all looking forward to that next one. And um, this is great. I mean, to be able to be the last National League team standing right now. In this matchup on one side, there's a machine. The Houston Astros won 106 games during the regular season. They're unbeaten during the postseason. They're in the World Series for the fourth time in six years. On the other side, it's a team that nobody saw coming in the Philadelphia Phillies. And yet here they are in the Fall Classic for the first time since 2009. He golfs one here, deep right field, Kyle Tucker puts the Astros on the board! It's exciting, I mean, we're in the World Series and, you know, to put up runs on the board at in this, you know, point in the season is huge. Runner takes off and a ground ball base hit, and it's 2 to nothing, Houston. The payoff. High drive right center field, Castellanos back at the wall, Kyle Tucker holding game one. You know, we, we get really good arms that we have to face every day, every day now, and um, it's kind of tough to you know put runs up on the board. So when we do, it's you know it's pretty exciting, and you know hopefully we can you know, win the game today. Verlander can throw it. Digs it out in the left base hit, third hit of the inning, and the Phillies are on the board. It's five one. Nick, when you guys fell behind five nothing and came back to the dugout, just what was the what was being said? What was the general vibe in the dugout at that point? Let's go to work. We've been we've been there before. Got a breaking ball, banged it down the line, and the Phillies fighting it offensively here in the fourth. And I think that's what this team does so well. There's no quit, really. You know, we really respect all 27 outs, and we take that seriously, and we take it personal. We had the momentum on our side after that fourth inning, fourth, fifth inning, and um, it was just a big win for us tonight to be able to cap that off after being down 5 0. Rio Muto shoots one in the air the other way. Back goes Tucker at the wall. It's gone. Rio Muto starts the 10th with a go ahead shot. The 3 1 pitch. Breaking ball grounded to third. Sosa gloves it, sets his feet, fires across. Yes! And he got him. And the Phillies take game one on the road in Houston. From down 5 nothing to win, John, 6-5. You know, you can't bring yesterday into today or else it'll continue. You have to start all over again and just realize it's a new day and hopefully we have a different outcome. Greetings from Minute Maid Park, where today the Houston Astros take on the Philadelphia Phillies in Game 2 of the World Series. The Phillies lead one game to none, and it's Robert Valdez on the mound for the Astros in Game 2. The Astros all over things right away. How about three straight doubles and a 2 nothing lead? Dusty, after game one was so tough the way that ended, what, what's it say? And I think we ask you this every time your team responds, but what's it say about your team to come out in that first inning and have three back-to-back -back doubles and in some ways put that game away early? You know, this team has a short uh, memory on, on bad occurrences and um, bad games. It's one in the air to deep left center field. Back it goes. It is gone. Alex Bregman strikes again in the World Series. It, it's definitely important to win every single time you take a field, and I think this team takes a lot of pride in um, going out and competing every single day and um, showing up um, with a clear head and uh, being able to Flush a, flush a bad game and move on to the next one. And I think uh, we did a good job of that today. 28 years old out of the Dominican Republic is Robert Valdez. He just keeps on getting better. He's in his fifth season in the majors. 
Valdez, great late sinking action and one of the best curveballs you're going to see. The one two. Put in play for the first time, but he's got exactly what he wanted. A double play. Even with a speedy veerling, they go 6 4 3. Now Schwarber turns on one, down the line, turns the ball. It's gone. Astros fans are saying, uh uh. Schwarber's drowning the bases. The umpires are now coming together. This ball was hit so hard and so fast. And now they say foul ball. If it disappears, it's foul, and it does disappear. Nobody out. 2-2. Two -two. Schwarber again hits one in the air. Back to right field. Tucker to the wall. He's got it. Oh, my goodness. The park just large enough to hold it. Go up. Round ball right side to his right Altuve. He secures it with both hands, throws to first, and that is the ball game. The Houston Astros even up the World Series at a game apiece as they defeat the Philadelphia Phillies by a final of 5-2. to two. World Series resumes in Philadelphia beginning on Monday night. On the other side, it's a team that nobody saw coming in the Philadelphia Phillies. Remember, they entered this season with the longest postseason drought in the National League. They fired their manager midseason. They barely got into the postseason as the last team, and yet here they are in the Fall Classic for the first time since 2009. The colors to Harper. It's good. Right center field. Lightning strikes. Two nothing Phillies. Well, Johnny sure looked ready for a curveball. <laughs> Remember Harper calls him over and gives him either a tip on spin or a tip on what he's doing. Alec, we saw Bryce Harper say something to you in the on-deck circle. What was it? It's between us. <laughs> Blasted left field deep. Alvarez back. He turns. He locks. It's gone. It just clears. Lead off homer here in the second for Alec Baum on a low laser just over the left field wall. It's his first homer in the playoffs, and it's 3 nothing Phillies. How important is this postseason for you? you? You want everything that you can win. How important is it for you guys to bring back a championship to Philly? This is what it's all about. I mean, that's why you play the game. That's why you show up to spring training, and you have the ultimate goal of winning a championship. And this 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 city and this town is starving for that, right? And I think as, a, as an organization, we're all starving for that as well. So this is all about all of us. This is about the fan base. This is about... 46,000 people plus 26. We're all in this together. We're all, you know, grinding each day. They're with us each day. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to be able to come into the bank and, and play in front of them. And we've got a home crowd, man, that it's, it's tough to play here. And you know, we're excited to be here and excited for the opportunity. I thought, uh, I thought Ranger really threw the ball well. He's really strong, good sinker. Um, all the secondary pitches were good. He got a lot of soft contact. So, that, yeah, that was a big inning, just to be able to stay away from Alvarado and Sir Anthony. Uh, so it was big. Trying to finish him off. Van Dars, known to have given away pitches. Schroeder tries it to center field. McCormick's going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. Gone! Wow! Monstrous blast! And another 3-2 to McCormick. Strike three, call, got it looking. And the Phillies are two wins away as they take out the Astros in this critical game three. I mean, you have to deal with the elements. You play where you have to play. We'll figure it out. I mean, last year at this time, I think we lost game three in Boston, 12-3. And then we went back and we figured some things, and then we ended up winning that series. Greetings from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where today the Houston Astros take on the Philadelphia Phillies in Game 4 of the World Series. As the Phillies now come into this Game 4, leading the series two games to one. Two ball in the first. Well, this is what the Phillies have done. They get off to a fast start at home. The crowd never sits down. Christian Javier, who has gone from low-level prospect to a reliever in the majors, to John, one of the hottest pitchers in baseball, and the Game 4 starter. He had been untouchable in his last five starts. Hasn't given up a run. Here's the pitch. Got him upstairs. Strike three. 
He chases a couple of feet off of the plate. And back-to-back -back strikeouts as Aaron Nola gets out of trouble in the second. Harper runs, boom, swings and misses. Throw, not in time. Stolen base for Bryce Harper. To Schwarber, hits one down the line, but foul. Oh, man, oh, man. Yeah. Good call. And Christian Javier blowing his fastball by Phillies hitters. <laughs> Strikes out the side. <laughs> Jordan in the left. Base hit Jose Altuve. And the first two have reached for the Astro. The rookie. Rips one through base hit. And the bases are loaded. You are done. Elvis gets hit by the first pitch. And that's how Houston gets the first run of game four. And Bregman lines this one over to right field. Racing over Cassianos. He won't get there. That's going to go to the wall. Altuve scores. Right behind him, Pena. He will score. Bregman drives in two with an opposite field double. Ground ball base hit. Yuli Gurriel with a two strike hit. Houston with a 5 0 lead. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I didn't realize that we were throwing down a hitter. I just came in, I was just so focused on executing all the pitches, you know, that that's an pretty important game for us. Bouncing ball to third. A World Series no-hitter for the Houston Astros as they blank the Philadelphia Phillies five to nothing. Move on tomorrow. It's cool. We'll be in the history books, I guess. You know, I think Dusty and I both would like to check off, uh, you know, uh, my first World Series win, his first World Series championship. I think, um, you know, that'd be... Uh, a wonderful thing for us to have on our career list. Now it's the best two out of three. Tonight's, you know, big game, and I'm, I'm thinking JV is really going to go out there and, and have a great game for us. Not an 0-1 pitch. Pena up the middle and through, and the Astros on the board just like that. He tries to pick it up, and then here's where Altuve stopped, and then saw it and went to third. So just think about that. I mean... Turns on a ball, deep right field, and gone! Of course he did! Here it comes. Swing and a miss! Got him on the slider, and the inning is over. Phillies load the bases with two outs, but they come up empty as Verlander gets his first strikeout in a big spot. My goal is not to go out there and win a baseball game. You know, there's been games in the World Series that I don't deserve a win. There's been games that I thought I pitched well enough that we could get a win and just didn't work out. It just, you know, at this point in the season, personal goals like that just don't matter. Simply put, he just feels so lucky to be here, having had it all taken away for a while. Strikes out Real Muto with the fastball. That's the fourth straight strikeout for Justin Verlander with an exclamation. Instead of fly ball to left, it sends Schwarber back onto the track at the wall. Pena's done it again! He's given the Astros a 2-1 lead in Game 5. You know, all these games have been hard fought. You know, they, they have a great team. You know, they put together great at-bats, have great pitching, you know, and uh, you know, great ball clubs win close games. Segura. Cracks on the right center field and breaks the streak. Castellanos in the score. It's a 3-2 game in the eighth. Hit in the air pretty deep to right center. Do you have a chance to take a peek and see where this wall is to try to time it out? Um, I didn't I didn't see the wall. I was trying to just keep my eye on the ball and I was being as aggressive as possible. And I knew I had two or three steps until I wanted to jump. Maybe my, my third step on the warning track, I said I can go get this ball. Makes the grab! Tears McCormick! Two gone in the ninth! This thing does not feel good right here. This fits hurt. Does this fence being here change your approach to how you're about to attack the wall and how you're about to try to get up here to make this play? Since it's the World Series, I was going to run through any kind <laughs> That's of, what I any, like to any hear. Any kind of wall. Round ball left side to his right, Pena. Shortstop has it, straights up, throws the first in time, and that is the ball game. And they're up three games to two in the World Series. Headed back to Houston, one win away from a championship.
We know there's still work to do, and we're gonna try to finish it off in Houston. Rob, what's the demeanor like in the clubhouse, and what was it like on the plane ride? Because this is the first time you guys are facing elimination, so how are the guys reacting to that? Very normal, you know. They're pretty loose, music's playing. They're running around, they're doing their crosswords, they're signing all those baseballs in there and just relaxing, you know. Curveball machine was going today and we'll go out and have a good VP and get some good work in. Greetings from Minute Maid Park, where today the Houston Astros take on the Philadelphia Phillies in Game 6 of the World Series. Here in Game 6, we've got a Game 2 rematch, a great pitching matchup. Zach Wheeler for the Phillies, Framber Valdez for the Astros. Valdez got a fastball, grounded it right side, sliding play, Jeremy Pena. What a postseason run this kid's having. The one-two pitch, fastball at 98 and a good sign for Wheeler and the Phillies. Three. A breaking ball is golf to left center field, Alvarez back onto the track, he's got it! The park just large enough to hold it. And there's the second strikeout of the night for Zach Wheeler, and a good time for him. Breaking ball, got him! Up swing and a miss, he got him with a high fastball. 2-2, two -two. hammer, got him! You would think in this inning for the Phillies, best chance of scoring. It's a fastball, and it's cranked to right field, and it's gone! Phillies strike first in game six of the 2022 World Series. No doubt about that one. He absolutely crushed it. It zipped out of the yard. We're trying to close it out, and they're trying to remain alive. You know, motion's running high today, but you got to try to remain as calm, you know, as you can. For five scoreless innings, Kyle Schwarber lit the fire with a solo shot to lead off the sixth against Framber Valdez. Astros wasting no time. Runners at the corners. This is the matchup, John, they've looked for all series. They're going to have it again. Alvarez facing off with Alvarado. On a 2-1, Alvarez. It's a high drive center field. Veerling's back. This game is turned upside down. Off the way for Jordan. There at second. Base hit left field, Christian Vasquez. Redmond heads home, Schwarber can't get it cleanly. Massive insurance run, knocked in by Vasquez. Strike three, he wins! Split fingered fastball, and the fish are biting. What have you sort of seen at the lower levels that is also here at the major league level that allows the team to be so good? Since my first uh, pro ball team, short season at Tri-City Valley Cats, managed by Jason Bell. You know, we had a winning culture since day one. You know, we won the championship that year, and that was this, that was the expectation every single year, you know, and I say that's the culture we built here in the organization. It doesn't matter what level, you know, we expect to develop you, and at the same time, we're gonna, we're gonna win games, and uh, yeah. Ryan Presley on the try and get the final three outs. And an out away. Fly ball down the right field line. Tucker comes on. Kyle Tucker. This time they finish the job. The Houston Astros world champions. For the second time in six years, the Astros are baseball's best. They beat the Phillies tonight, win the World Series four games to two. In his 25th year as a manager, Dusty Baker has his ring. How about the Mastos? <laughs> Willie Mays, most valuable player. Can we have Jeremy Pena? I've heard somewhere before that you can never underestimate the heart of a champion. Now, what's next? Party! Yeah. <laughs>